don't know, 15, 20 minutes. You'll have everything ready. All right. I had a great time last, oh yeah, I sure did. We got together, I had a wonderful time. Yeah. What do you mean you had a good time last night? I wasn't with you last night. Well, who'd you have left? I'm, come on now. Well, okay, if you want that way too, you just forget it. I'm going to go out with Rob Hodges. <laughs> Funny guy, really, he's dead. Oh, oh, here we are again. Oh. And now for another weekend update. If you remember, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Chevy Chase. And if I remember right, you're not. And now for a weekend update from our political news desk. Multi-millionaire and former presidential candidate Mitt Romney said today during a CNN interview that he is still bound and determined to live in the White House even though he lost the last presidential election. To make sure that happens, Governor Romney announced today that he bought the White House for $34 million. <laughs> Knowing that he was going to be evicted, President Obama called his mother to see if he could live with her on their llama and sheep farm in the southern Bahama Islands. Since reporters had not seen him recently, when asked today at a press conference where the president has been, his press secretary said that Obama's with his mama and the mama's in the Bahamas. <laughs> in local political news, you may have seen the article in the Portable Recorder today announcing that six more people have signed up to run for Portable City Council. That brings the total number of candidates who have signed up to run at 37. <laughs> when local institutional researcher Mike Curry was asked if that was a large number who have signed up, he said he needed to do a little research on that question and then later reported, yes, that may seem a large number that has signed up because if you put it in perspective, 37 is only four more that have signed up for Obamacare. <laughs> and one final announcement from the police. Just got it in off the phone. It was reported that there was a major accident on the corner of Highway 190 and J Street. A man driving a Mercedes crashed into a woman driving a Volkswagen Jetta. Fortunately, neither of the drivers was seriously hurt, but both cars were totaled. As the man was standing there looking at his Mercedes wrapped around the telephone pole, the highway patrolman asked the man what happened, and the man said, I don't know, officer, but now I know how my Mercedes bends. <laughs> okay, enough of the update. Now I want to introduce.